Afternoon, that is our top story. The bill would allow bars and restaurants to sell mixed drinks and glasses of wine to go with a tamper evidence seal. And News 8 Now's Isabella Holsizer joins us to talk about the next steps of this legislation. Yes, absolutely, you two. After sweeping bipartisan support, both through the state assembly and Senate, the cocktails to go legislation is on its way to Governor Evers desk and restaurant owners say this legislation has the power to make up for a lot of lost funds. Business, obviously for all restaurants, it's been almost catastrophic. Peaky's restaurant in La Crosse is no stranger to the pandemic struggle. We had to uh, lay off 71 employees, uh, which was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Business took a major hit, and Roderick says his sales went down 80% last year. This year, he's hoping that things take a turn for the better, and some new legislation has the ability to lift his spirits. The great thing about the Cocktails to Go legislation is it gives restaurants an additional tool to help them rebuild their businesses after a full year of shutdowns and closed uh, say, and reduced sales. If signed by Governor Evers, bars and restaurants would have the opportunity to serve their cocktails to go. They would still have to follow guidelines regarding age and drinks would have to be sealed for take home use only. Under current law, bars and restaurants can sell drinks to go if they are in their original packaging. We saw, obviously we saw a jump in our carryout business, uh, people doing curbside pickup and stuff like that, which is awesome. I mean, we appreciate the support, but in our business and every other restaurant that serves alcohol, um, you're missing out on those residual sales. This legislation would allow him to make up some of those lost funds. And not only do some bar and restaurant owners approve of this measure, so do customers. They actually did a survey in November, 75% uh, of uh, adult drinking age supported uh, the cocktail to go uh, law. A law that could be signed by Governor Evers as early as this week. Although the new legislation is seen as a win for some industry owners, the bill excludes places that don't operate under specific licenses, which leaves out places like distilleries. But overall, restaurant industry leaders say this bill provides the help they desperately need. Jordan and Amy. All thanks, right. Isabella. Yeah, thanks a lot, Isabella. Those opposed to the bill have raised concerns that curbside pickups could contribute to drunk driving or allow alcohol to get into the hands of those under the age of 21. So we want to know what do you think? Should Wisconsin allow bars and restaurants to sell mixed drinks and glasses of wine to go? To share your opinion with us and in, your, in our live real-time poll, you can just head to our News 8000 app on your smart device or go to news8000.com slash vote to share your thoughts with us. We will have an update on the poll later on in the newscast.